check the messages? Yes. And the phone, the battery's charged, right? I hate those damn things. Lonnie, are you listening to me? Yes, I said yes. <sighs> the school called today. Said she missed too many days to make up. She's gonna have to repeat. Let me guess. They won't be refunding her tuition either. She just had to send her to private school. Me? Yeah, you. Public school just wasn't good enough for your baby. Our baby. Public school bought this house. This house and six figures of student loan debt. Don't forget that. So now it's my fault? It's nobody's fault, Derek. Shut your voice down. Will they at least roll over the remaining balance? No! Hello? Hey. Hey, Doc. Yeah, um, it's good to be expected. Um, yeah, he's here. So I'll, I'll do it. I'll take care of it. Do what? Take care of what? Dr. Harris said we've done all that we can do. It's time to let her go. I'll do it. You don't have to be here. You've already done it. You were driving. You're the one that got into the car accident, and now you want to take responsibility? Now you want to... <sighs> no. You don't touch my fucking daughter. Our daughter. You don't get to take away my rights just because you're upset. Oh, I'm not. I'm taking them away because you put our daughter in a hospital bed. And now you want to take away the one thing. Thing? That's all she is to you? An object to fight over, another argument to win? You don't see how much pain she's in? I see it every day. You're not here. You don't change her clothes when she shits on herself. I do. You don't bathe her. You don't- You don't work. You don't see the bills piling up. You don't care about the overtime. I have to work just so she can be home. It's too much. I'm sorry that our daughter is too much for you. I'm sorry that the situation that you caused is too difficult for you now. That's not fair. Life isn't fair. Look at my daughter. I'm going. 
Great. Derek, just leave! You're never here anyway. Neither is she. Let her go. You won't miss them, but I do. <laughs>